dry look put in dry kindling. Unfortunately, I had to get all brand new logs and lump wood, not lump wood, logs and um, kindling because Storm Callum blew the top off my wood store and all the logs that I'd bought uh, within the last few months had become drenched. Hazel branches that I stored in there also got wet, so I've bought all new kiln dried logs. Well, some are kiln dried, some are aren't. The ones I'm using today are kiln dried. I've also got more of these. I don't know if the, I don't think these are kiln dried, but they're just real logs. <laughs> Real wood logs. So the lid blew off my wood store and and they got all soaked but um, they're coming they're getting drier again. They are it's taking a bit of time. But yeah, everything got soaked. I'm gonna light this now without anything other than my gas. So I'm not going to use the chimney starter because this is dry lump wood, it's not damp or anything, so there's no reason why this won't be able to start. You know, I promised myself today I am going to have a non... Everything's going to go to plan today. I've, I've got a good feeling that everything is going to go to plan today. My dough, my pizza, my wood, yeah. So here we go. It's not even windy today either, it's lovely. It's a lovely blue sky day. No wind. I, I think remember last time this started sparking at me and um, <laughs> firing pieces of... This seems to be less sparky. lit with the gas burner. I'm going to now put the lid on that thing, hopefully. That will... Just checking my chimney. Up, uh, oh, unopened. Yes, my cute little rabbit. Watching me cook. So I found a nice sized log. They're quite big in this packet and I don't have an axe or anything to cut them up yet. I've got a saw but uh, I tried to do that. I tried to cut it with a saw and it took me forever. So I'm just going to put this in. Oh, I should have used my gloves. So that's gone in. I'm going to put the cover on. And now I'm going to get my dough ready. So I'm making a red pizza tomato base. It's one day overnight curl proof and today I'm going to be adding some mozzarella onto there. Try to dry out the mozzarella. I have to say, I don't know if I've done a great job here but nope, it's all gonna go good today. I only opened it this morning. I was in a bit of a rush and I forgot to dry it out overnight. And I'm going to put some pancetta fried already and some Fried potato chunks, grated cheddar cheese on top. That's ready to go in the oven. So that's been about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna just see what the temperature of the oven is. Oh, my stone's not straight. Not bad. Fantastic tips and comments I've had from my other videos. And who've told me that before I put the pizza in, to just put some kindling in or um, scraped kindling, I think, which will increase the flame to cook the top of the pizza. I'm gonna put this in now. 
and hope that works. I've got a good feeling about this. I'm gonna do this and ow. Good feeling that this is gonna work. And maybe I'll just put some more um lump wood in there as well just to make sure. now and hope that the flame is going to be big enough to I'm using the pizza door because it's not windy today learnt from that got that tip don't use your don't use the pizza door in the wind especially if it's going the wrong way or draws out the back and I still haven't got my long pizza peel I'm still <clears throat> excuse me I'm still using this smaller pizza peel the other one's in the post and will be arriving tomorrow. And it is cooking the top. that bang I don't know what that bang is I think that bang because I've heard it before is the tray the the logs and the lump wood are in sort of it's expanding and oh, it's tricky to see if this is um just a little bit more at the back Have a look. Looks nice pizza. Those potatoes and the pancetta have melted in with the mozzarella and the cheddar cheese I put on there. So I'm gonna give this a try. Okay, that is so yummy. Very nice. The dough's come out nicely, so an overnight cold proof. Not putting oil in it anymore. I'm still getting the leoparding. Put the kindling in at the last minute to get the flame, which has cooked the top nicely. I cooked with the pizza door on because it wasn't windy outside. I managed to light the lump wood and the kindling with the gas torch without using the chimney starter because the lump wood wasn't actually damp this time. Because I wanted to, you know, get something right because it's you know there's been a few things I've been learning over the last few weeks so I wanted to get uh, this right today 
but it hasn't gone exactly as I wanted it to. <laughs> oh, it's the base. The dough is lovely. And I got the top right. I've got, you know, more right than I thought. Got a nice crust. There. And then the one thing I can't, I didn't nail, I didn't get right, was the base. All the other ones, if the base was very well cooked, so I made sure that I wasn't gonna sort of cremate them again. So I've been really careful to make sure I didn't do that, but I've gone over careful now, and I've done that. So, needs more heat on the base. So it's trying to get that bit right now, I'm trying to balance that, to understand how the logs, because the temperature of the stone was um, 450, but, I think it, it must have gone down a bit as I was fiddling with the pizza door. Mmm, but this does taste really good. It's a shame that I didn't nail the base today. I'm going to do it next time. Next one. Such a shame. I love the potatoes on with the pancetta and the cheese, it's gorgeous. It's like, it's like eating breakfast without egg. It's lovely. Mmm, very nice. Get off my pizza oven cover. It's got huge feet. Ew, he's just stopped. Oh my god, he's not going, he's just, he's like enduring this. I'm enduring him. Him be in there, look, he's not moving. He's moving. 